First of all, most, let's address the elephant in the room. Hey friends, hi, hello, how are you today? So good to be back in the building. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm shaking because it's been so long. It's been so long. <laughs> I hope you guys are well. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Fal. We do a bit of everything here. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Welcome back, baby. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you so much for subscribing in my absence. This is a catch up session. So let's cash up girl if you are new here please do click on the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it i'm not gonna waste any more time i covered a lot i was just rambling and doing my makeup and i really hope you guys enjoy it i used some new products i'll show you how i achieved this look very simple very everyday makeup but very full coverage but very bad if you're interested in seeing more of this video please continue watching we're gonna start with the installation uh, of my wig and then take it from there i just washed the frontal um to get the gotsy be out of it and i just wanted to show you guys my updated way of actually installing my wigs now so i think this will be a great video for all of us so yeah how are you guys doing mentally i'm recording this during a very tough time in this country and it felt like it's wrong to be creating content and posting about makeup and hair at a time like this do you know what i mean but i was like you know what nah? let's take this time as an opportunity to catch up and talk about some stuff i'm not gonna talk a lot right now i'm just gonna install this here and you guys can watch how i do it first of all most let's address the elephant in the room your girl hasn't been on this app for a minute if you um follow me on my ig um you would actually know why but basically moral of the story you guys know i work in retail duh so anyways um my my boss just uh called me i was at work i was literally from an off day and stuff and he just called me he was like hey i need you to come work at another store for me and stuff like that can you just like pack for a week and yeah like just pack your uniform and come through and then yeah, I need you. So I was like, oh, okay, no problem. You know, ain't no issue because my boss is so cool. Um, so yeah, I was like, ain't no problem, you know, I got you. So here I was going to Middleburg to go work for a week. <laughs> you know, I was like, okay, I've got some bulk created content for Instagram. I'll be good, you know, I'll be back in time to create more content for YouTube. And then this person got to be so i was like i'll be back for some youtube content on time i put a lot even here because yeah i need this week to be secure so yeah so. oh guys okay so so anyways then um after that week basically they call me and they're like hey things aren't sorted out please stay another week that week turned into five weeks <laughs> so i only got back home last week which was the start of june i left here i mean the start of july i left this place i left home at the start of june and i only came back i think on the like i think it was the fifth so i haven't been home for a whole month so that's what happened to me. i was literally working and where they put me was a guest house and stuff and i packed for work so i packed comfort clothes i packed my toiletries and i left i didn't pack an ounce of makeup because i was going to work i wasn't going out 
I was literally going to work. So and the makeup takes so much admin to pack. I was like, no, I don't need to pack makeup. <laughs> Nisakumbul, if you were my IG, you remember I was crying, posting all my content like that I've created, going, I miss makeup, I miss makeup. So that's where I've been, friends. I literally have been working uh, in a, another area, very far from home. It's not that far. Middleburg is only like an hour thirty from Secunda, so it's not that far. But I couldn't come back home. <laughs> and yeah so and y'all know i don't have a car so i couldn't even go hey let me go fetch my stuff <laughs> i took a taxi to go there so the joys of not having a car don't worry about the lace that's rolling we'll be with it oh love it love it love it love it Okay, cool. Right. This list seems fine. Don't worry if you see any faults, we will fix it. Next, we're gonna take our elastic band and just melt this lace, child. So I recently started doing this and it's the best thing I've done since sliced bread. Like it makes life so much easier. Okay, cool. So we'll leave that to do its thing and then let's curl this hair because I want effortless soft waves. This hair is so long. Sometimes I'm just like, Ooh. what I actually need is a 18 inch unit i think i'd really love that like something with like a manageable length because this is this is not everyday hair like <laughs> this week oh by the way guys i finally got my driver's license yay OP. so this week i was going to go test um and then obviously i knew that i'm gonna take pictures for my driver's license and i wanted to look cute so i was like no this hair looks really nice in pictures so I'm like, no, let me just install this hair. So I installed it over the weekend, so it was fine. And then I kept the in install and I just fixed where the lace was lifting. But styling the hair while you still, cause I was still, I was going to get tested on a day where I was actually working still. So I was just gonna leave when I go test and then come back to work. So in the morning, I had to wake up like an hour extra and by the time i left the house i was still running late long hair is work i feel like long hair is perfect when you're going out like it's really it like stands out and it's gorgeous but it's gorgeous but for um for for every day oh uh uh cover fit it's not the one for every day i'm just gonna clip one side so we can work with one side and then we'll work with the other side because uh, long hair you need to work in sections otherwise it's gonna overwhelm you <laughs> last week i made that mistake because there was a day where i made content i think it was saturday i made content and then i made the mistake of not sectioning up the hair when i was um curling it yo was i not so overwhelmed was i not so overwhelmed so yeah how are you guys feeling 
that's what's been up with me also i was just trying to get my i was finally trying to get my driver's license i've been taking lessons since march march april around the birthday so literally when june came i was literally five to going to get tested so then when the work thing happened i obviously couldn't get that sorted out until i came back so when i came back i actually had a week of leave and the plan was to do content and finish up my license stuff i told my i even told the lady one day at the driving school i was like this week we're getting my license she was like no problem so i was like okay perfect i'll do content and i'll do my license stuff and then <laughs> tell me why every time i came home we had serious load shedding i'm in an area where they don't respect people the load shedding is crazy like it's five hours long so i was like but now what happened so i would so i was like you know what let me just prioritize my license stuff and then i will deal with this content thing when i can wake up in the morning and i can do content only and yeah so that's what i did i focused on that and then this week i'm currently on an off day i'm back at work so i was like ah let's do content and then this week south africa went up in flames guys flames and i'm like but god like <laughs> how do we process what's going on you know and i asked the girlies on ig i was like so what do you guys think of content right now with everything going on and like do you guys feel like it's out of it's in bad taste you know or you know do you guys just wait you know and um a lot of people were like no let's wait like and stuff like that but a huge amount of people were like you know what that girl like we already know Uguti, this country is going up in flames and we already know what's up and we really need some good positive vibes so i was like good positive vibes i can do that i can do that you know so i still feel like it's wrong to be posting about clothes i bought and i have so many clothes i bought that i want to show you guys so let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in a winter haul the last winter haul will do because i got some real good gems and stuff but i feel like it's out of taste it's, it's in bad taste i don't i don't know so yeah so this is me providing positive vibes um i want to talk to you guys about so much going on in my life um but i'm pretty excited it genuinely feels like a new season um if you guys don't know i'm a born again christian and god has been teaching me about trusting him and just relying on him more and more i was getting really doubtful and depressed not really depressed but i was starting to feel a bit discouraged um when i was away because the thing is about my spirit basically when i feel like i'm still doing something that is in um, alignment with my future and what i desire for my life i have like assurance and again stay positive and be in good spirits but once whatever it was and like it might not even be that that thing is going like really well and it's making money or you know it might not even be viewed but if i feel like i'm doing something that is in alignment to my future to my dreams i feel good i feel better about my life i feel better about myself you know but i couldn't do all of that stuff i couldn't do all the things that give me that i'm doing something towards my future i couldn't do anything so i was starting to feel like oh my god my life i'm starting to look at everything and starting to get you know that doubt you get like that that thing we do when we get down on ourselves um about being at a certain age and not having reached certain goals and god is like don't do this to yourself you don't need this this you don't need to do this to yourself what you don't need is this what we don't need in this household is you doing this to yourself so i was like okay cool you know every day all my scriptures when i open them i'm like answer you know seek god trust him ask him bring everything you desire to him and he will you know be there for you he will take care of it so just trust god so i was like okay cool trust god <laughs> and stuff so that's i think that's the one thing i can say to you guys also like just trust the process it sucks 
trust me i believe you i trust i i get you you know if you don't know now you know i'm a i'm a whole varsity dropout <laughs> but i'm still trying right now i'm not into my style i want to be but like a lot but yeah so i'm going back into my style next next month i think it's august yeah yeah it's august i'm going back into my style next month so i'm working on that i literally have five more subjects to do and then i just have practicals left in my degree i'm studying nutrition via unisa there are days where you feel like oh my god like i still don't have my degree i still don't have this i still don't have this don't do that to yourself you know have a huge amount of forgiveness for yourself because girl if you ain't got your back if you ain't taking care of yourself nobody's gonna do it for you ma'am nobody's gonna do it for you that's just that's just how i feel you know that's just how i feel so positive vibes all the way we're doing this thing guys i'm gonna start car shopping soon i'm so excited There's so much i still need to have in place before i actually make that decision but i just wanted to i want to bring it forward in my life and bring it into perspective and start looking because ain't nothing wrong we're just looking good there's nothing wrong one side is done we're not gonna comb it out or anything we still need to resolve the frontal let's do the other side it's so nice to wake up in the morning and know that you have a driver's license it's so special like every day i wake up i'm just like Side note, this hair curling process is going so well. I really hope you guys can actually see what I'm doing um, so that you guys can see because a lot of people have been asking me how do I do my curls. But let me actually talk you through it. So basically, I curl away from the face. So I'll put my clamp in and run it through the hair till the very end, like so, and then curl up. But moral of the story, I curl away from the face. So I do the same thing throughout all of the hair. You guys have been seeing me do it. That is the curling process done. Let's remove this. Ooh, that relief. Oh. One thing about this method, it works, but the pain. But yeah, can you see this? That is what we call melted my darlings so i'm just bringing my hair here at the top with water and then that lays it flat this water has a bit of conditioner in it Cool. I just want to flatten the frontal hair, so I'm going to take my duck and I'm going to put that on there and the hair is done. Whatever we need to do, we'll sort out later. Okay, cuties. Let's get into this makeup. So we're doing a very simple look today so we can have a chit chat. Let's start with foundation. I'm going to take my Revlon... Um, full cover color stay foundation and put that on my hand and then i'm going to take a bit of my chestnut from woolworths just a smidgen the main girl of the show is the revlon foundation you see this foundation is a seriously bad 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 queen like she is amazing and nobody can come for her this is a full coverage look like this is a full coverage look baby okay so this is my foundation brush and then i'm just gonna tap to blend it in if you want more coverage from your foundation you actually need to um stipple more than swipe can you see how much coverage that is, baby? Listen, uh, 
baby one thing i've understood about my makeup that i've been learning is to take time blending because it comes out even more amazing if you take your time next is concealer i'm gonna take my la girl concealer we haven't spoken about this this is how i do concealer now i don't drag concealer down um the rest of my face um purely because i believe that it it's a makeup hack from tiktok and ig reels but it actually makes sense if you put concealer and you drag it down it drags your face down so drag up your face that's why i put it up here like so and here in my inner corners because i actually need it because my under eyes are dark then i'm still gonna take my fit me and I'm gonna put that right here, right here, because I, I, I don't want it to be gray. I need, I need coverage here, but I don't want concealer sitting down here. So for the rest of my face, I'm still gonna use, one thing about me, I can never get this line straight. I can never. And then on my forehead, And then on my chin next is contour this is a new technique also for my contour um mind where i place it i don't go here i go up here actually above my contour line that's where i'll go above where i my face naturally contours that's where i'll actually place con con my contour instead of right here i'll go up higher and then i'll chisel my chin and my cheekbones I and mean my jawline what else has been going on with me um yeah we caught shopping we got our license i'm going back to school next semester i'm actually putting it out there because i need something to keep me accountable because when i do stuff in secret sometimes i tend to if i give up um it's even more ammunition against me like it's easier for me to give up because i have nothing or nobody to be accountable to not that i'm saying i want you guys to i want to be accountable to you guys but like if i speak something out in public now i actually have to do it i don't know i don't know if you guys go through the same thing but it's something i um go through so yeah that's why i'm saying it out loud i'm pretty excited for the next half of the year i've gone through so much growth with my ig and youtube and everything and i'm so grateful for all of you one thing about people from this red app they will drag you and ask you when are you coming back i'm back my loves i'm back it just felt weird to be talking about makeup during a time where our whole country is in crisis. Look at how gorgeous that is. Like, can you see how my face is lifted? I like that. That's the whole point of it. And then let's blend out our <sighs> concealer. I'm gonna start with my chin. Don't forget, obviously, I will leave every product I use in the product in the description box. So if I didn't mention something and you're wondering what I used, it's going to be in the description box. So yeah, I'm really excited for the second half of the year. Uh, my birthday is coming up in September and I'm already planning. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I think I already have, I already have a hairstyle. So... I really have a wrist hairstyle, so I'll do some a bit of some reverse contouring here, just to chisel out the face a bit. Mm -hmm. I am loving this base. We are gonna try a new setting powder today, so yay! My heart has been on moving, leaving this country. Like my heart is there. I just. I just want to live in the uk already i really if there's a country i want to move to it's the uk i i can see myself living there for the rest of my life and it's crazy like it's crazy when i was actually in middle work every day i woke up with the strongest inclination that i want to leave this country so i've been praying and meditating on it and just asking God what it actually means and why I'm feeling 
so inclined but i know why it's because it's something i've been wanting for years now um it's something i've wanted since i was a kid and then it's one of those things that i when i grew up i was like ah you know this might not happen blah 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 but now <laughs> the inclination is back and it's stronger than ever it's stronger than ever this makeup by revolution powder is so amazing so buttery and soft and it blends in so perfectly it's like where have you been all my life oh my life <laughs> taking that same banana powder and i'm gonna put it on the rest of my face i'm gonna take translucent powder from la girl and this is new this this powder is actually very translucent look at it i can't even see it it melts into the sponge it's like melting into the sponge wow you already know her you already know this girl you already know this girl why is the light there there we go can you see that you already know her so i'm gonna go into the same spot that i went to when i was doing my contour right and brush that product on there la girl this one and this one this one from mr price and this is in the i think this is the medium one then i like to take this tarot card one here and put it at the top this makeup is giving natural i wasn't going for natural i was going for baddie full coverage okay let's do lashes i got a new lash glue this is from kiss i am familiar with the kiss lash glue um it takes it's faster drying last time i checked so yeah and i like that it's a brush on adhesive it's easy to deal with okay so this is why i love a brush on adhesive look at this Get it, get it gets in there, man. This lash glue, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It's the Kiss Strip Eyelash Adhesive 24 Hour. Let me show you guys. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Like, it's it dries quickly. It's so easier to apply. It's less messy. It's giving what it's supposed to give. Okay, let's do lip gloss. I'm gonna use the NYX Push Up Lipstick in the brown. <laughs> Lips are done. I'm gonna set this makeup. I'm feeling a bit too dry today. Let's try this. This is a setting spray BX Cosmetics sent to me. One of my followers reached out to me and she said they would like to send me some stuff. So we will try this together. I absolutely love the packaging. It says it's a dewy finish makeup setting spray. And I think I, was, I need something like dewy right now because my skin my face is really too dry so mm. oh it's so fine oh my god it's not like abrasive oh the spray is giving me life oh baby let's put on some lip gloss this is my chine chine lip gloss from essence it was clear and then i did that thing where i got lazy and i didn't use another applicator and now it's really really brown so might as well yeah so that's what's up um let me know in the comments if you guys are actually interested in seeing 
fashion content right now with everything going on if you are please please let me know down in the comment section because i do have clothes that i bought while i was in middleburg online and in store from some stores and and we even have woolies in that um collection of clothes so let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see that because i can do that for you. that is it from me friends thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give me a big thick thumbs up click on that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed click on the notification bell so you can see when i upload next i am back i am back and i love you guys so much stay safe i'm sending you all my love don't forget to connect with me on instagram because i am there every day so yeah i love you guys so much Mwah!